Every one of us wants fast charging, because nobody would like to hang around power sockets with a charger plugged in for hours together. Despite the large batteries of many modern smartphones today, our usage has been increased tremendously. Now we're talking about the Qualcomm Snapdragon 615, the processor in Eureka and Eureka Plus. It has fast charging capabilities enabled in them, but unfortunately, Utah Ventures has actually disabled them. So in this video, I'll show you how to enable fast charging in Eureka and Eureka Plus to get the fastest charging speeds possible from the root level itself. Now this video is a 100 personal estimate and it's totally working. What's going on guys, I'm your host Stryka from Strykatic Productions and you're watching how to enable fast charging in Eureka and Eureka Plus. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so for this you'll be needing a Eureka or a Eureka Plus running Android Marshmallow or higher. As this is a kernel level module, Android 6.0 is recommended as the kernel will function in a pretty good manner with Android 6 or higher. And of course, a custom recovery like TWRP is recommended, most probably the version 3 which is a pretty good version of TWRP is recommended. And last but not the least, the most important thing, an original U specified charger. The reason we're taking the original U specified charger is because of its output, which is 1500 milliamps. Of course, a certified Qualcomm Quick Charger will also do the same thing, so there isn't gonna be much of a difference in both of the things. Now, open the link, provide it down in the description, and download the file. Once the download is completed, power off your Android device and then hold volume up plus volume down and power button three of them together for 10 seconds. This will take your Android phone into recovery mode. Now in recovery mode, click on backup and backup everything for the safety. Alright, now if the backup is done. Now hit on install, navigate to the downloads folder as that's the place where we have our gladiator zip file. Select the gladiator zip file and then swipe to flash. Now flashing might take some time so relax and sit back, grab a cup of coffee or something and we'll be right back once the flashing is done. Alright, after the flash is completed without any problem, now go on to wipe and wipe caches and the caches. We're wiping them to ensure that we don't fall into any sort of boot loops. Alright, now click on restart after the cache wipe is completed. Now the booting process might take some time, maybe at least 5 to 10 minutes. So relax and sit back, don't just get worried. And you might notice some sort of heating as well, so that's, that's totally natural and completely fine, so nothing to be worried about. Alright, now the device is successfully booted up. Now go on to your Play Store and download Kernel Adutor. Well, that's how it's pronounced. Adutor. And once the download is completed, open it up. It will be asking for root permissions, so grant the root permissions to it. Now click on the top right corner to see the menu, scroll down to the battery section, and enable USB fast charging and charge rate. And also slide the charging rate slider all the way to 1500 milliamps. Now I recommend you, if possible, turn off your mobile data, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or even if it's possible, push your device onto airplane mode to get very high charging speeds. Now plug in your original U charger and have fun. You might notice some sort of heating as well while charging because fast charging requires a little bit amount of good temperature so heating is totally fine and make sure that your device has got pretty good amount of ventilation to it while it's charging so you can avoid explosions <laughs> pretty much so this wraps this video guys hope you like this video in case you did 
make sure you smash the like button thank you for stopping by thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys later in the next video till then peace